Have you ever wondered what your cat is trying to tell you when they purr or meow? In the mysterious world of cats, purring and meowing are more than just random sounds. They're an integral part of their communication carrying a wide array of messages. Let's start with purring. You may often hear this low vibrating sound when your feline friend is contentedly curled up on your lap. But did you know that cats also purr when they're hungry? A solicitation purr, as it's called, is often mixed with a high-pitched cry and is designed to sound urgent and hard to ignore. Cats also purr when they're feeling unwell or anxious. This type of purr is usually softer and less rhythmic than a contentment purr. You might hear it when your cat is at the vet or in an unfamiliar environment. If you suspect your cat is purring due to discomfort or stress, it's best to seek professional advice. Now let's move on to meowing. Cats meow for many reasons, but unlike dogs, they rarely use vocalization to communicate with each other. Instead, they reserve their meows for us, their human companions. A happy meow is often short and high-pitched, while a hungry meow is more demanding and persistent. If your cat is scared or feeling unwell, their meow might be low-pitched and prolonged. It's important to remember that each cat is unique, and their purrs and meows can vary. Some cats are more vocal than others, and what might be a normal sound for one cat could be a sign of stress or discomfort in another. To help you decode these feline sounds, we've put together a cat language guide. This guide will provide you with insights into the nuances of cat communication, helping you understand what your cat is trying to tell you. Now that you're familiar with the language of purrs and meows, let's dive into another important aspect of feline communication, body language. Ever noticed how your cat's tail, ears, and fur can tell a story? Yes, the way your feline friend positions their tail, ears, and fur or how they move about can give us a peek into their emotional state. Let's start with the tail. When a cat's tail stands straight up, it's a sign of confidence and contentment. If it's bristled like a Halloween cat, that's a clear warning sign. Your cat is scared or agitated. A low-slung tail, especially if it's twitching, is a sign of aggression or fear. And if your cat is wagging its tail, well they're not a dog, this could mean they're annoyed or agitated. Now let's talk about ears. Erect ears facing forward indicate a curious and attentive cat, but, if they're flattened or turned sideways your cat could be scared or defensive, and if they're twitching or rotating your cat might be anxious or nervous. Next, the fur. A puffed up coat is typically a response to fear or excitement. This is your cat trying to look bigger and more intimidating. Now what about the way your cat approaches you? If they're rubbing against you, they're marking you as their own. It's a sign of affection. But be mindful of those headbutts, they're a sign of trust and love. Yes, you heard it right, your cat loves you. What about those long, slow blinks? Those are cat kisses. It's their way of saying, I trust you and I'm comfortable with you. A stare, on the other hand, could be a challenge or a sign of aggression. Lastly, is your cat relaxed or tense? A relaxed cat will have a loose, soft body and might be lying on their side or back. A tense cat will have a tight body may crouch, and their tail, might be tucked in. Understanding your cat's body language is a big step towards better communication. Next, let's discuss how you can improve your interactions with your feline friend. Want to strengthen your bond with your cat and improve your communication? Let's dive into some simple yet effective strategies. First off, cats are creatures of habit. They thrive on routine. Try to feed them, play with them, and even clean their litter box at the same time each day. This will help your cat feel secure and understand what to expect, which in turn can reduce their stress and anxiety. Next, consider the power of touch. Cats communicate a lot through physical contact. A gentle stroke along the back or a soft scratch behind the ears can show your cat that you care. But remember, always respect your cat's personal space. If they seem uncomfortable or try to move away, give them the space they need. Now let's talk about playtime. Engaging with your cat in interactive play sessions is a great way to strengthen your bond. Use toys that mimic their natural hunting behaviors like feathers on a string or laser pointers. This not only entertains them but also provides them with much needed exercise. Lastly speak their language. Yes, that's right. Cats have a unique way of communicating and if you pay attention, you can start to comprehend their meows and purrs. For instance, a high-pitched meow can often indicate excitement or happiness, whereas a low-pitched meow might signal dissatisfaction or annoyance. Don't forget, patience is key. Improving communication with your cat won't happen overnight. It takes time, understanding, and a lot of love, but the effort is absolutely worth it. When your cat starts to trust you more, you'll see a change in their behavior. They'll become more affectionate, more playful, and overall happier. Remember, every cat is unique. 
what works for one might not work for another. So experiment with different strategies and see what works best for you and your feline friend. With these tips, you're well on your way to forming a stronger bond with your cat. But what about those quirky behaviors your cat displays? Ever wondered why your cat scratches your furniture, sheds fur all over, or suddenly runs around the house? These are common behaviors that often baffle cat owners. But don't worry, we're here to decode these feline actions for you. Let's start with the furniture scratching. This isn't a sign of rebellion or a personal vendetta against your couch. Cats scratch to keep their claws sharp and to mark their territory. They have scent glands in their paws, so when they scratch, they're leaving behind their unique scent. Offering your cat scratching posts or mats can help save your furniture and meet your cat's need to scratch. Next, the fur shedding. Cats shed fur as a natural process to remove dead hair. Indoor cats tend to shed all year round, while outdoor cats usually shed more during spring and fall. Regular brushing can help control the shedding and prevent hairballs. It's also a great bonding activity. And what about those sudden sprints around the house? This is often referred to as the zoomies. They're a normal part of cat behavior, usually a sign your cat is happy and healthy. It's their way of releasing pent-up energy. Providing toys and playtime can help your cat burn off that energy in a more controlled manner. Now, not all behaviors are as straightforward. Some, like excessive meowing or changes in eating habits, could signal that your cat is stressed or unwell. In such cases, it's always best to consult a vet. Remember, cats communicate through their behavior, so the more you understand these behaviors, the better you can respond to your cat's needs. And just like humans, cats can have their quirks. Some love water, some fetch like dogs, and some may prefer to sleep in cardboard boxes instead of their plush beds. It's all part of their charm. Understanding these behaviors can help make your life with your cat a little easier. Finally, let's remember that each cat is an individual with its own personality. Each cat is unique, with its own distinct personality. This is a fundamental truth that every cat owner comes to appreciate. A key part of forming a strong bond with your feline friend is understanding their individual traits and quirks. Just like humans, cats have their own likes and dislikes, their moods, and their way of expressing affection. Some cats might be the life of the party, always seeking attention and playtime, others might be more reserved, preferring quiet corners and peaceful moments. Getting to know your cat's personality involves observing their behavior in different situations. How does your cat react when there are guests in the house? Is your feline friend more active during the day or night? Does your cat prefer a particular type of toy or game over others? These are all clues to understanding your cat's personality. Remember, the relationship between a cat and its owner is a two-way street. Show respect for your cat's personal space and preferences. If your cat isn't a fan of being picked up, try to avoid doing so unless necessary. If your cat enjoys quiet time alone, ensure they have a safe space to retreat to. It's also important to remember that a cat's personality can change over time. Just like us, cats can grow and evolve. They might become more outgoing as they grow comfortable in their environment, or they may become more reserved with age. Understanding your cat's personality is not just about catering to their preferences, it's about recognizing their unique individuality. It's about celebrating the quirks that make your cat, well, your cat. And remember, every interaction with your cat is an opportunity to learn more about them. Whether it's during playtime, mealtime, or a lazy afternoon nap, every moment is a chance to deepen your understanding and strengthen your bond. By understanding your cat's language, body language, behaviors, and personality, you can form a stronger bond with your feline friend. Here's to many more years of purrs and headbutts.